Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are going to be looking at the Uta Knight. Yes, this is a special one, you can tell, because it has a little red um, WCF base as opposed to the blue one. Uh, this is of course Uta when she's doing, I want to say I'm Invincible, when she's in her knight armour. And this one was a little bit more expensive, you can see there that it cost me 3,000 yen. Oh, this is pricey. That is just under twenty pounds, I believe. And oh, it comes in parts. Um, I, I feel like her staff is not supposed to be as round as this. Uh, Big dog, can you come over and help? There you are. Big dog is going to. Oh no! Where's her head? <laughs> the head has yet to come. There she is with her crown, and it seems that her little ponytail parts. Uh, have the ability to move, so we'll check that out in just a second, and let's just discard that part there. Ah, so this part is actually still sealed, so that means that whoever owned this before, um, they must have had the figure out, but they never actually opened this little part of it, so this is interesting. Didn't know this was the case, but let's open this up. Nice and carefully, oh. so we don't accidentally go breaking it, there we go, there is the coveted very rare red base, oh. mm. and are these parts separated? Oh my goodness, they are separated. <laughs> okay, well we have set it right Yes. So, this will be faster in the long run. Thankfully this one did actually come with this little part, which uh, our Four Emperor's buggy did not. So let's just go ahead, attach that part in there, and let's take a look at our Uta Knight. So that does just sit in there. Um, the cape reminds me a lot of Doflamingo. Really does look. <laughs> Eerily similar. So I'm going to try and straighten out her her spear or sword or whatever you want to call this. Um, the hair is really crazy because it's it's up here like this, and I think that is the way that it's supposed to be. I think it is maybe molded to be upwards. Um, I was wondering if maybe it was supposed to be down, but nope. I think that is literally the way it is. Hmm. Um, I don't know if the crown is supposed to be curved. I feel like it's not supposed to be, so I'm just going to do that and try and straighten it out a little bit. That looks a little bit better, although the spear is still very much curved. I think it's... I mean, this part here is obviously supposed to be curved, but I think this part is supposed to be just a little bit more straight. Uh, the shield and the armour all look really, really cool. It has a lot of detail in the, the boosters and the shoes and such at the bottom. But uh, the hair is, is the really, really crazy part because these bits just kind of... They, they feel really loose in pernicity. It's like, is this the way that it's supposed to be? But like, I think it is, yeah. I think, it is. I think it's just meant to sort of hang like that. So... Uh, I just realised that um, I do not know where this actually attaches into. Hmm. <laughs> um, I assume that it's probably on the back of Uta, in here maybe. Oh, that is going to be awkward because I was I was hoping that it would just be there so that it could sit like that, but it seems that it's inside. So we're going to pause the video just a second, folks, to find out whereabouts this is supposed to go. And there we go, folks. We have got our Uta Knight on the stand. I have tried to straighten out the plastic as much as I could. That little break there. The, the, the staff is still very, very curvy, as you can see. The crown seems a little bit more straight. And 
I think this is just the way the hair is supposed to be. It's just supposed to be flying up. I think it's just supposed to be kind of like Uta in in motion because the hair does doesn't go down. It it, it just always floats back up. So let's compare to the the regular Uta. So there's multiple different versions of Uta, but this is the Uta Knight, and this is the 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 most generic regular version of Uta that you can get. So this is the ones that I was going for. You can see that the Uta Knight does stand significantly taller with her huge big crown, but also the red is slightly brighter on her hair, and I think the white is about the same color, but you can definitely see the difference in the color of like the dark red and the bright red there when she's in her Uta Knight. And these of course are both WCF figures, the World Collectible figures, just two very strange versions. But there we are folks. And that is going to be it for this little video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon. <coughs> oh, I was tagged by a cough. So you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.